So today, I'm using the same deck Disguised Toast used to get to Legend during his viewerthon after not playing for a couple of years, and let's see if I'm as good at the deck as he is. I really like this deck, it's been one of my favorite decks for a while, and the reason is because I just think it's really, really well balanced. It is a good OTK deck that you kind of have to wait until turn 10 to get. It's got at least three combo pieces you need in your hand to pull it off, not to mention the fact that you gotta play a couple of cards in the beginning to like start the combo, the corrupt cards you need to have played them. The control is good, but it's not oppressive. You can still die to burn decks, you're still vulnerable, but despite that, you still have really good ways of stalling out your opponent with Snowfall Guardian, Don't Stand in the Fire, and the Wildpaw Caverns. It's just got everything you need without ever being too broken. Overall mulligans for the deck are going to be Armor Vendor for some early game uh, defense, Wind Chill, Diligent Note Taker, Sleep Breaker, Primordial Dungeoneer, and the Wildpaw Caverns. Also, Lightning Bloom. Main win condition cards in my deck only. It was really tilting, but whatever, it's fine. At the end of the day, we still won more than we lost with this deck. It's just, I played that really poorly. But I like this deck a lot because it's, um... I like this deck a lot because it, it seems high skill cap to me. Several of the games I've lost felt winnable. Which is nice. This deck doesn't feel broken, but it feels good. This deck doesn't feel broken, but it feels solid. We're gonna play this. Hopefully get a nature spell. Eh, we don't get a nature spell. That's fine, though. Is your budget control warrior worth crafting? I mean, I like it. I ended up going like 5 and 3 with it, which is a small sample size, but I think control warrior in general is a little bit better than people really realize. It's gonna be probably totem into double wind chill. We got Bolner. We got the snowfall guardian. We want to play, we, we want to get Mutanus, but we're probably not going to. We're going to play Don't Stand the Fire next turn. Then we're going to play Multicaster and draw two cards. And it's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic, actually. Don't Stand the Fire corrupts the Circus Medic already anyway. We'll draw two cards off of the dude in the following turn. And then turn seven, we should have Mutanus, but he's going to be able to play Kazakusan way earlier than that, which is kind of bad. Which means Mutanus is pretty much useless. Unless we want to just draw one card off of Multicaster now and hope to get Mutanus. Which, I mean, isn't necessarily a bad call. Because Don't Stand in the Fire could actually do well against a Nixie as well. This is not great. Eh, okay. Does he have another Overgrowth? He has another Overgrowth. It's basically over. Okay, he's using that, which makes me think he has Kazakusan in his hand. I would not risk Fungal Fortunes most of the time if I didn't have Kazakusan. Especially if it wasn't... I don't know. Maybe I would. Yeah, Charge OTK Warrior and Dragon Control Warrior are both actually solid decks right now. We drew Lightning Bloom. We'll be Overloaded 2. But we get to draw an extra card. We draw one card and we pass. I'm not a fan. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Lost a game because I chose the wrong card and I was choosing cards because I was going fast because there was a rope and um, a little bit tilted about that losing this game because I can't draw Mutanus if he has Kazakus on I don't know we have one more turn to draw um, to draw Mutanus if we can draw it this turn it's salvageable are you gonna play the uh, turtles oh Oh no. Mutanus off the top, please. Well, you get to play Kazakus on this turn. Which is not good, but we have Lightning Bloom, we'll have Yashiraj, we'll have Bolner. I mean, we could theoretically win. It might be a Nixia, actually, which would be better than Kazakus on. Oh, it was Scale? You already have Kazakus on in your hand? A little weird that you're not playing it then, but okay. I respect that. I'm not gonna overdraw anything. Updated my name to my Hearthstone account name so you can pronounce it. What? I sent the Celestial Link deck a few days ago. I don't remember that if I'm gonna be totally honest. I apologize, but I, I don't remember a Celestial Ink. Oh, the Celestial Ink. I was like, Link? What's Celestial Link? Ink, Ink, Ink. The big spell mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. I got you. Yeah, 
We got Dunk Tank? Okay, we do actually win the game in, in, in three turns. In three turns, the game is over. One of us is going to win the game. I don't know who it's going to be yet. But in three turns, someone is winning the game. I'll freeze the board. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have saved it and played just don't stand on the fire, but I needed eight man next turn to play dunk tank and the other thing. That's okay. I mean, that's not great, but it's fine. We just need to focus on controlling <clears throat> the board. Dunk tank and circus medic, it's fine. We just need to survive turn, turn um, nine will probably be Brucon, but if we get another lightning bloom, we win the game turn nine. So it's fine. It's the final countdown. Yep. The, in three turns, the game is over. In three turns, it's done. I want to tell you that you were the reason that I became a better player in Hearthstone from your videos. All my decks are made from you. Wanted to tell you this. Well, that's awesome. I get this message a decent amount of the time nowadays, and it's it's so cool to hear that people like actually get better from watching a, a doofus like me play. I've made so many misplays today. Actually, no, I think I played pretty well today. I think I missed Lethal like once, and I chose the wrong card like once, and there's probably one other time. But over the course of today, I mean, I played how many games today? I played a lot. I played almost 25 games. I messed up in three. One of which I was probably still gonna lose anyway. And then the other two, I don't actually know. I mean, I think, I think I've played pretty well, all things considered. Kill this off with the other two minions. And then kill this and go face with five. Maybe I misplayed. If I go in full face there, do I win? Because I go hit. I do four damage to face, four more. Those two things die. I do five, so we'd be at 12. No, Yash Rush would only do eight. It's not lethal. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 was, I did that math already, and I was like, wait a minute. Did I do something wrong here? Also, hand size matters. But it's, it's cool that people learn from me, even though I play it like a doofus, like, half the time. Okay, if he plays Anixia, we play Snowfall Guardian. If he does something to flood the board, I play Snowfall Guardian. If he doesn't, and he does something that does damage, I play Drukon. Those are the two options. That's fine. Eh, it's not fine. Yeah, it's not fine necessarily, but it's okay. Ah, that's okay. Fine, 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 fine. Glowfly Swarm. All those dead. All those dead to Brucon. I'd rather just kill off the board. Would I rather freeze the board or destroy the board? Oh. I think the answer now is definitely freeze the board. I think the answer is now definitely freeze the board. You might be wondering why. And the answer is pretty simple. If I freeze the board, he can only play like very limited things, very few limited things. And if I play Rukon and wipe it and he does, I don't know, something to fill the board. I don't know, I think it's freeze though. I mean, to be fair, Brucon. No, I think it's Brucon. I think it's Brucon. Well, deal two, deal six. Deal two, deal six. I wanted to play the Snowfall Elemental and like one other card to empty space in my hand, but at the end of the day, I don't think it matters. We're gonna play Bolner, then we're gonna Lightning Bloom out Yashiraj, and then we're just gonna kill him. Like it's theoretically infinite damage, almost. I mean, my hand is a little bit full, so it's a little bit worse. <clears throat> but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. We just need to hopefully play Dunk Tanks more cool often than the Circus there. Medics and it should be fine. Like, usually when I play this, I'd like to have maybe six to seven cards in my hand, not nine. But it's it's okay. Thinking you're a pretty decent player, dude. I like how you think. And looking at you and playing can be challenging. Oh, that's definitely very true. There's so many times where... I mean, I'm pretty sure at least one of the misplays that I made is because I was looking at chat and, like, wasn't paying attention to what the player had already played. And trying to be entertaining... And talk with chat makes me take my turns a little bit faster than I normally would. And sometimes I don't think about everything. So, I mean, like, yeah, it's definitely harder to stream. And one of the things that I have to say about streaming is I have so much more respect for streamers now. Like, I already had decent respect for them because I, I genuinely 
liked what they did, right? Because it's something that I really have wanted to do for a long time, right? I'm gonna go dunk tank, dunk tank, and then this, and then dunk tank, hopefully get more dunk tanks. Dunk tank, dunk tank, and he's just dead. But it's so much harder to like try to be entertaining, read chat, answer questions, because like now I'm focused on a question as opposed to playing the game, and I'm just kind of like mindlessly playing the game. Point is, streamers are actually a lot cooler than I thought they were when initially starting this career. Um, I don't think we keep Dunk Tank. I mean, it is a good card, but I think there are better cards, at least in the early game, and we can draw into it later. Nutanus is actually not bad. And I'll probably just end up playing him turn 7, right? Just to see if we can snipe anything. Pretty sure this is gonna be Fell. I mean, if we can hit Jace... Or Kurtris, after he finishes his quest. I mean, that could be awesome, right? Talon, not bad. Probably gonna totem and then freeze my own totem because he's not gonna really play that many minions. I could also snipe a potential brute, which could be good. That's all assuming I, I, I get to play it, actually. <laughs> totem, freeze totem, then wild puck cavern, then Talon, then. I'm not really sure after that. Turn six is gonna be awkward. Army, armor, army vendor. Armor vendor, not bad. We still have multiple other ways of corrupting the circus medic and dunk tank. So if we play Talon now, I don't think it's that big of a deal. The only main problem is uh, winning with Yasharaj turn 10 seems a little bit more difficult now if we don't have them in my hand. Like, this OTK usually wins, I wanna say, a round turn. I want to say around turn 10 to 13 because you have a decent amount of draw which is not bad um, you have a decent amount of draw you have uh, a decent amount of control so you're able to last that long with the snowfall guardian and the and the brilliant macaws and then you have to play four cost corrupt cards which can sometimes be difficult well, there goes the Mutanus plan. On the bright side, that glide doesn't actually help him finish the quest at all. And we still find good cards. We can corrupt with Talon, draw an extra card. Like, this is still not bad. It's actually pretty good. And we get to freeze him. Okay, all things considered, that glide could have been terrible. And it turned out to just be kind of bad. Because it, it, it used up one of his best uh, glide or draw cards. A little bit weird for him to play the glide there, I'd say. But it's it's not that bad. Really just hoping to redraw Mutanus at this point now, because that's uh, how we beat the quest once he completes it. Emolition Aura into another Emolition Aura. We do get to draw Yasharaj, which is cool. It's not bad. Multicaster. How much have I played? I've played a Frost spell. I get to draw two cards off of this next turn. I'm gonna play this and this and draw three to four cards next turn. And then we'll probably play this turn eight. Just for some extra HP and whatever. Draw three cards, don't really care about that. I mean, don't stand in the fire. There's no reason to play it and I'd rather not just randomly play it just so I can get something else out of the multicaster. Especially considering this plus this on turn 7 works out so nicely. Hmm. Nature waits for we draw two cards. Awesome. And we'll play multicaster and draw two more cards. Awesome. I've heard of it. We got lightning bloom. Okay, we're actually in... A good spot. All we have to do now is draw the uh, circus medic. Whoa, what? Interesting. Probably gonna play the burr. Oh, thank god. Oh, I'm probably gonna play the bird this turn to draw some extra cards, though. I don't think it's actually gonna be Brucon. 
I would really like to... Ooh, okay. I draw two. If I play Lightning Bloom, how bad is that? I mean, I can go Diligent Note Taker, Lightning Bloom, get Lightning Bloom back, and then play Brilliant Macaw to empty out some space in my hand and still be able to play the Brilliant Macaw. I'm overloaded a little bit, but that doesn't really matter. Let's do it. And then we go Lightning Bloom. And then we do this to draw two cards. And then we're going to play Armor Vendor for a little bit more armor. I don't really care about the 1-3. Right? I think I'm just gonna hit him in the face. No, let's kill the 1-3. I guess it's maybe safer to do that. We have two Lightning Blooms still. Yeah, I knew he was gonna play that. It's not really that surprising. Like, whoa! It's, wow! He played the, he played the card, guys. Now he's gonna draw through, like, his whole deck and play some Brutes, and then I'm gonna freeze it with Snowfall Guardian, and that's basically it. No, it's gotta still be Jace, right? Like, there's no way it's not Jace as his main win condition. I want to trade in my minions. I want to trade in my minions so he can't kill me with Kurtris Expendable Performers. But at the same time, I'm thinking don't stand in the fire. Kill the 1-3. Actually, no, we can just kill this, don't stand in the fire, and do 11 damage to him, which isn't, like, a huge deal, but... It's definitely better than nothing. So. Don't stand the fire. Play this. Go face. I mean, he has to play Kurtris before he can do all of that, right? Actually, if they're all reduced cost by two. I mean, just because they reduced cost by two, he'd still have to play that and Expendable Performers, which he can't do in one turn. So don't actually think I'm dead. Dead. I'd be close, though. Maybe I should have just killed off all my minions on the off chance he runs Expendable Performers. Because I don't know what deck this is, and I don't know what build this is. I don't exactly know what he's going for. I'm assuming it's Fell and he's going to play, like, Jace, but... Oh my god, that's not good. That's potentially very bad. You kill off one, congratulations. Okay. This deals six and corrupts that. I think it might be lethal. That's lethal, right? Because then I can double lightning bloom. Deal six. And then I'll just heal up my dudes, because why not? Heal up my dudes. These all go face for 13, and then we just dunk tank them. Actually, we could just go... What? Oh, double lightning bloom, sorry. And then circus medic him. Yeah, he's just dead. Okay. Weird. I guess I should have played around Expendable Performers, but... I ended up getting lethal, so... Cool. Do you feel the storm? Um... Hmm... Do I... Want to keep the Circus Medic? I think the answer is no. But it's also, like, the most important card other than Yashiraj and Bolner, so we're gonna keep it. And considering I think this is gonna be a Ramp Druid, I think it's safe to hold on to a combo piece. If it ends up being aggro, well, shoot. Well, shoot. But I guess that means we could also use Circus Medic to heal me. And we'll just pass there. Unfortunately, playing this turn four seems a little bit weird. But it's okay. He's gonna flood the board, isn't he? Dang. Diligent note taker. Worst case scenario, he kills it off. Best case scenario, I can use it to kill a couple of things. Coining this out is going to be a really, really good turn five to just shut him down or at least slow him down for a turn. Watch your hands. Yep. That's going to be rush three. Dang, dude. He actually managed to kill it off so easily.
We are going to play another one. It's really the only way we can remotely kind of fight for the board right now, so we're gonna just do that. He's gonna play Arbor up on five. Then I'm gonna coin Snowfall Guardian. And I am not sure how I'm supposed to survive. Really not sure at all, to be quite honest with you. Um, because then he plays Arbor up, and it's gonna Arbor up so many min- You're trading in? Oh, that means he doesn't have Arbor up. That means he, there's no way he has Arbor up if he did that. Unless he's playing around my coin Snowfall Guardian, in which case, that's pretty cool, I guess. But no, we're not gonna be playing- there, Yeah, he had Arbor up. Why would you- What? Why would you trade? You literally had lethal if you didn't do that. I don't know if he realizes this, but he literally would have had lethal. I'm not gonna attack with the 3-4. You might be wondering, Ecor, why not attack? Well, that's because if I attacked, first of all, it would die. Second of all, it wouldn't immediately unfreeze right now. And the goal is, next turn, to kill the 7-6, Freeze the things with the most attack, killed everything else, or just get Brilliant Macaw, actually, which is not bad at all. I can easily go with the Brilliant Macaw right here. Brilliant Macaw, he's board locked. There's not really much he can do to actually kill my minions. I mean, I guess he could Arbor up again, which would suck, but I don't want to give him an extra spot on the board, so let's just do... This, then Sleep Breaker. The reason why I'm not freezing the Sleep Breaker is because I can't let this battle cry go off first, and he can attack the following turn, so we can actually use him to control the board. And then next turn, it's gonna be kill, or it's gonna be f freeze, freeze. Okay, we just need to make sure he doesn't like somehow kill me. My god. It's gonna be freeze, freeze, kill. Oh, I don't even know, man. I mean, the fact that he's board locked is awesome for me. Freeze one. Freeze two. And then... Is that lethal? Wait, if I go 11 here, that'll be not even close to lethal, no. So I'll go 13 here. Kill everything off and then play Talon. This three goes here. This one goes here. This one goes here and here. We go face for 11 and then we'll play Talon to protect. And now we've got multi- or we got Dunk Tank and Circus Medic to try to finish him off. Or we can play Brucon and heal up a little bit and get some stuff. I think we win. That's awesome. I cannot believe that we managed to turn this game around. That's insane. I mean, we just dunk tank, right? And we kill him. We can dunk tank or Brucon. Both work. Both are so strong. Yeah, we just dunk tank and play that. Wow, I actually can't believe we won that game. Against Jaina? How do I win this? Against Jaina. Do I keep Diligent Note Taker in case I draw Wind Chill? It basically just allows me to draw an extra card. Yeah, I'll do it. If I get Sleep Breaker or Wind Chill, I mean, it works really, really well. Or we can draw the other Diligent Note Taker and, and none of the spells. That's always good. I mean, if we can get Mutanus, maybe we can still win. Circus Medic being Corrupted is actually good right off the bat, so I'm happy about that. But I... Hmm... Okay, well, that one just immediately gets pinged off. A little rude. Turn three, turn four, turn five, turn six, turn seven. Hopefully we can find something good by turn seven, but we've planned out the next couple of turns pretty well. Four mana for the, uh, oh no. We need to find Mutanus like now. We needed to find Mutanus like yesterday. Oh no. Really not a fan of Mizaki Mage. Especially considering he was able to coin out the Encanter Slow so early and now draw cards. 
Yikes. Still gonna be Talon, still corrupts the Circus Medic. We're still gonna have to hope. We got Brucon, which is nice, I guess. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We can play this. The Diligent Note Taker keep, I don't think I'm ever gonna do again. I guess I'll do it if I have Sleep Breaker or Wind Chill, but I don't think it's wise to do it on the off chance that I get it. Is he gonna Devolving Missiles? Because I kind of want to draw cards. Don't stay on the fire, fine. He's frozen now. I'll do this. Pass. So the idea now, I guess, is to like Lightning Bloom out Brucon. He gets two spells. He doesn't have Mizaki yet, which is awesome. Still buys me time. Maybe we don't Lightning Bloom out Brucon. Maybe we don't. I might not be wise. We're one damage off of lethal. No shot, dude. One off of lethal. Okay. Um, Mutanus top deck would be amazing. So, okay. We play Brucon turn. I mean, I guess we could play him turn eight with the Lightning Bloom. And just basically try to... Oh, no. That's not ideal. That stalls him out quite a bit. And Brain Freeze. Oh, no. And then he pings that off. We're only going to do one damage to him. We ended up getting Wind Chill, though. So we can draw a bunch of cards and not have to play Brucon. If we do Lightning Bloom out Brucon, what am I looking for? What do I get? If I do Lightning Bloom out Brucon, what do I get? I deal six, and I get two two threes. And then I'll play this again, maybe get the deal six damage again. I mean, it's a 50-50, basically. And um, then maybe this one becomes the fire one again, although that's a 33% chance. And it's still not going to be enough to kill him, because I only do one here. I think we just settled for this. Lightning Bloom, you know, it's fine, I guess. Dunk Tank, cool. Bolner, cool. I mean... We win the game in two turns, essentially, which is kind of cool, I guess. All we really need is Bolner and Yasharaj. So, I mean, we win the game in two turns, essentially, which is kind of nice. We go Brucon, and then... I mean, I guess if Talon gets Devolving Missile and we don't get Yasharaj, maybe it's not lethal. But we'll see. Hi, hi, how's it going, Fabian? Just lost a fuck ton of games and went from Diamond 1 with 2 stars, Diamond 4 with 1 star. That almost happened to me the other day. It was so demoralizing. We, I've been there, man. Don't worry about it. I've been there. It sucks. Big doo-doo water. Interesting. Interesting that he's not killing off my minions. I guess he wants to... Wait, what? 13 damage. That's just lethal, though. Boom, deal six, and we also had Dunk Tank for four more with Double Lightning Bloom. Okay, we'll take it. I'll take it. Kind of sad he didn't get Mizaki, I guess, for him, but... Wow. Um, I'm gonna keep Lightning Bloom. It is an important combo piece. It is. So I'm gonna keep it. And we're gonna keep the Sleep Breaker, obviously. And Dunk Tank can go. We don't really need it in my opening hand. There are other more important things. Like, yes, it's an important combo piece, but we really only need one of them to actually work out. We're gonna pass, we'll play this turn two, this turn four, this turn five. Hopefully corrupt something, and if we don't, we still have Don't Stay on the Fire, Snowfall, and Mutanus to potentially get that. Your aggro again? God dang it! Okay, 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 okay. Since he's aggro again, Lightning Bloom out the Wild Paw Caverns to get tons of pressure out there is not bad. Next turn, nothing. Turn four, Sleep Breaker. Turn five, other Wild Paw Cavern, and we're just gonna try to pressure that. Like, normally, I don't think we'd do that. Well, 
No, I think we do that regardless. It's kind of just an insanely powerful play, but it's also the only way that we can compete with an aggro druid, and it wasn't the trog, so there was no reason to not go for that. That's kind of just insane. Get legend without 11 star bonus is so stressful. That's what I'm saying. I want the 11 star bonus. Like I said, start of April, day one, midnight. I'm going to stream until I hit rank one, or at least hit legend, and I'm going to go for rank one. It's going to be awesome. Maybe. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I think it would be a really fun thing to do. He's going to play the Frostwolf Kennels after that, obviously. Yeah, I'm going to kill off the 2-1. I'm going to do nothing next turn. Maybe Armor Vendor if I draw it. We don't. Um, we're going to kill this off. We get another 3-4. Play two Sleep Breakers. Uh, awesome. Play Wild Puck Caverns. And if we can't get Snowfall Guardian, that's going to be kind of bad, but it's not awful. But yeah, I wanna. I don't know if I want to go for the uh, rank one thing. I think it'll be a cool streaming event to try to do. But I feel like other people would also try to do it, and they'd maybe beat me there, and I wouldn't be able to get there fast enough. I'd have to just pick like a pure aggro deck, Shadow Priest, try to kill people over and over and over again, and win the game over that. No, it's not gonna be 24 hour stream because I'm not gonna like not stop until I hit rank one. I'm gonna stop when I hit legend and hope I hit rank one. And even if I don't hit rank one and I'm like rank nine or something, I'm still gonna clip it. And when people ask me what my highest rank ever is, I'll say like nine and I'll be like, I've been top 10 before. And that's all I need. Never reached rank one because I never really wanted to. But I feel like it could be fun to do like the. Um, right before uh, the new set comes out. I think it could be fun. We're gonna play two Sleep Breakers, kill off the 3-2. Sharper sharper and then next turn it's gonna be this and Windchill. We can also play Multicaster and draw two cards, which wouldn't be terrible. What's Mancrick doing on your wall? That was something that was um, painted for me by my girlfriend. She also did the paintings of all these things as well. That, I do it wrong every time. That right there is my cat and my dog. Technically my family's dog, but he's still my little guy. Uh, this is my logo. Then we have Man Crick. Up there is the other things. And then small little Hearthstone related things. Well played, Tilted King. Uh, you are legend because I got legend. And then the Hearthstone symbol. She did all of that over the summer and helped me decorate the room. Well, she didn't even help me decorate the room. She basically just decorated the room. And he's just done because he can't really do anything about all these minions. Nice. If you guys want to see more gameplay about this class specifically, check the playlist here. And if you want to see just more gameplays in general, check the playlist here.